What's up, squad? It's your boy Trey back again with a banger today. Thanks for stopping by. Um, just want to get into something right quick that uh, just came in fresh off the, the truck. Um, been excited to get this pair in hand to bring to y'all. I'm excited. Totally unexpected W that came through through my network. And I'm just getting right into it. Now, I'm going to pull this box out. <laughs> y'all going to laugh because you see the big Target logo, right? Now, this isn't from Target. But this is a pro tip. So somebody in my network came through for me on a pair that I was after. And my girl Jaleesa, shout out to Jaleesa Jaddy Patty. Um, she is smart enough to know that, you know, one of the biggest fights that we have right now is against the final boss, right? Getting that pack from wherever you get the sneaker from, delivered to your door without the delivery people, peeking in, checking it out. So she put the pack inside the target box and it came untouched, no issues. And um, I tell you what, like some of the brand's boxes, Nike's boxes, they look like, the, you know, of course, those are the ones that basically say, check me out and see what's in here. Uh, but anyway, this box came in. I'm excited to open it up today. And uh, this is something exclusive that your boy got his hands on. Um, like I said, totally unexpected W. And it was literally a last minute raffle entry. And W came through from the good folks at, man, I'll get it out of here, but I'll tell you who exactly plumped. The good folks at The Better Generation. Um, you know, this is out of Houston, got the bag to go with it. And it is nothing other than, it's not the PJ Tucker exclusive, something different. Something that's definitely more highly sought after, in my opinion. Man, there's a lot going on here. Whew. It is the Jack, Travis Scott Jumpman Jack. So we got this in tissue paper and everything. They really packed this up real nice. And I think this is actually how she received it at the store. So quick story on the, the drop itself, right? The Better Generation. I really like them. They really go all out and look out for the local community in Houston. Um, they did an online raffle for Houston residents only. And this was, of course, after all my L's were rolling in for the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack. This again is the dark mocha or the dark mocha colorway or mocha colorway, mocha sale. Um, they did that online raffle like the day before or the last day. It was really close. Um, Houston residents only. I hit my girl up. I said, look, they doing this. Can you enter this for me? I know this is not a shoe that she wanted. She said, say less, enter. Next night, the night of the raffle closed out, she texted me and said, got you, brother. And I said, wow, that is amazing. So all of those EQL, L's, took a million of those, every last one, nothing hit. All the other, fill out the entry raffle form, nothing came through. But these did from the better generation. Man, this box is heavy. This feels like you got a PlayStation or something in here. So you definitely pay for this. $200 price point on the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack. And this box says, this is sale, muslin, and dark mocha. So that is exactly what it is. It really is an expensive, I mean, a heavy, heavy box. Um, you got the label on that end. You got Jack on both sides. You got Jumpman logo here. Jumpman on both sides. Travis Scott on this side here on the top. And then underneath, you got your regular Nike information. You got Travis Scott, Jumpman, the, the sickle man face, sickle, sickle mode looking face. Jordan Jumpman, Cactus Jack. Just a really done presentation, man, really. But seriously, this box is heavy because this, this almost feels like it's made out of wood. This is serious, solid, solid, solid uh, cardboard. Red inside. Nothing special there. You got some nice tissue paper. Jumpman Jack on that. And this is my first time looking at these, y'all. So we're going to look at these together for the first time. Wow. Then the presentation. Whew, that is fancy. You got the dust bag. I knew it was a dust bag that came in here. But man, that dust bag is serious. Check that out. Y'all see that? Sicko mode, cut man, Jack with the Jordan. This is embroidered. This isn't like pressed on or some type of, uh, you know, 
This is actually stitched. It's a nice duck bag. And the strings on it have these um, like varsity red tips. That's like a wax, man. They like wax those. Nice. I don't know where I'm going with this bag, but this can turn into a nice little tote to roll out with if I need to carry something fancy. And now let's get to why we're here. We got shoe one. And we got shoe two. All right. Man, they really did a lot here. And the jack graphic will wear off with use over time. So that's the graphic underneath on that sticker. The jack graphic, we know that's on the bottom of the outsole. Um, and it's like you hate to open this up because it's packaged so nicely, but we don't wear packaging. We just gonna get right in here. I just don't want to rip it apart. So here we go. All right, we're gonna get one of these out. Wow. And there we go, y'all. There's one. The jump man, Jack. Travis Scott. Brand new silhouette. Totally new silhouette from Nike. Travis and Jordan Brand. We got the Jack underneath. Pretty damn sweet, honestly. That's one, let me get the other one out. And I had some people, you know, that really, the energy for these, which I guess has kind of always been kind of par for the course with Travis Scott. Initially, people were like, ah, oh, what is this shoe, it's terrible. You know, people were crying, like maybe do something different than the Jordan 1. Then when this one came out, or the pictures came out, people weren't feeling it. But of course, with everything Travis, the Travis effect, over time, as the shoe gets closer to release, the energy changes up, and then it becomes a must cop. And then, of course, it sells out. <laughs> Here we are at this point now. So now we know that there's also the University Red colorway that's supposed to be, I think, supposedly a, a site only, Travis Scott site only exclusive. But uh, we still haven't seen that drop yet. And that's been one that people have been counting down and looking for for the last two or three weeks. And nothing's happened yet. Wow. So yeah, you get a gang of laces with these. You get the white in the shoe. You get a brown. It's like a brown wax. One that's like a brown with white stitching in it. And then a sail lace. Which I think any of them could kind of work in the shoe, obviously. But first impression, first reactions. What do y'all think? Just off the grip. Nice shoe. I mean, I think it's it's really nice. I think it's really nice. The leather is nice quality. Thick cut. Tumbled all over. The strap, you know. Nice solid midsole. And I do really like the gum bottom. And it's like it wraps around the side of the shoe. So what I'm hearing too is that, or what I read is that it takes inspiration from um, 90s and 2000s era skate shoes, as well as clearly, you know, cross trainer. And I'm a big fan of like the, the Bo Jackson, the Air Trainer 3, um, all of the, the Bo era trainers, uh, cross trainers in general. You know, they kind of came about during my heyday and loving sneakers in the high school time frame. So, you know, it was all about play your sports, you go lift weights, you go casually, you know, you can wear the same shoe. And that's what this is. And that's how they did this, right? They build it the same thing. They had the, the shock drop release with Travis during the uh, the Grammys. And in that commercial, he was doing everything. I think he was playing basketball, hiking, biking. I don't know if he was skating, but uh, I know he's jumping and doing all kinds of stuff all over the place. But um, yeah, this is a shoe that basically you can do everything in, looks good feels good you can go wherever and you, you got it uh, but yeah beautiful beautiful shoe man i think it's nice you got the leather everywhere then you got this mesh that is like a it's a thick kind of carpet feeling kind of mesh material you got leather on the tongue with the the new cactus jack Jumpman logo you got the uh 
little logo on the back called Sicko Mode Face. I don't know exactly what you call that guy. Smiley face guy. And I'm still trying to figure out the this emblem on the strap. I don't know if that's, uh, it seems like it would be something like a Asian piece, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be something very simple, but I've not been able to find that out yet. If you know, hit me down in the comments. Um, overall, like I said, from, from the beginning, just I'm excited about this shoe because one thing I say, and I've said many, many times, is like, you know, Nike continually just rinses and repeats, right? And, and feeds us the same shoe over and over and over and over and over again. And we go back to the well 50 million times buying the same thing. Go do something, do something with design, you know, give us something different. And we finally got it, you know, and I think the uh, this was, you know, a step in the right direction to change it up. You know, Travis Scott's their biggest, um, you know, signed collaborator, star, or whatever. Um, I think it's, a, you know, a good, good, good move for them. And I think the design itself is nice. Um, I will say for the price point, I mean, they, you know, obviously they're charging us for the leather and the, and the name, you know, but so you're not getting any air units in the sole or anything. That's kind of a letdown. But, you know, I think uh, this is, you know, if you think a skate shoe, they could have, you know, blended with like a SB and put some, some uh, something in it. Um, at least like some zoom or something like that, maybe in the, the insole. I'll have to take a look at that, pull that all apart. Um, but again, it's, you know, like kind of reminds me of like a Metcon training shoe mixed with a skate shoe, mixed with an air trainer type situation. And um, yeah, the colors are dope, man. I mean, I think this mocha, reverse mocha type color, like they did the Travis, you know, the Jordan 1 Low is a hit. Um, Travis clearly loves brown. If you don't think that's his favorite color, then something's wrong. But the dude loves brown, <laughs> browns and tans and, and things like that. So there's some other colorways that I see that are, you know, slated to drop, you know, with this, uh, this, this model in the future. You know, hopefully I can get my hands on another one. I really like this. I'm excited. I'm excited to put it on to see how it plays, how it feels, and how it looks, you know, rocking this out and about. Um, let me know if you were able to cop. I know I've seen a, a good amount of people with W's on this shoe. Um, so, I mean, this one definitely did get into the hands of a lot of people, not just, you know, the, the, you know, we always hear about how bad they get backdoored um, and just straight to secondary. Um, prices right now, I think on this, on the secondary, are somewhere between five, six hundred. Um, but I think, you know, for 200 bucks, it's a good shoe, man. I mean, why not? I'm happy to have my hands, you know, on the first new silhouette that you know it's a totally new shoe great for the collection um we'll see where this where the silhouette goes and what the other colors are going to do man how they're going to play out but i'm excited to have it i'll be doing some more feet uh, pictures and some music video make sure you t tune in here stay tuned here tune in on ig at real daddy seed have a lot of creative content going on working on my photo and video skills so feel free to you know chime in drop a, a, a comment you know and that stuff when you see it and um, that's it. Make sure, hey, hit that notification bell on your way out. Thanks for hanging and checking out the shoe. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.